Hi and welcome to NetApp KB TV. This video demonstrates the procedure to be followed to create a read-only user to monitor a NetApp storage system using on-command system manager. This video is based on the KB ID 1011412. We have used on-command system manager version 3.1 for this demo. Firstly, we shall create a role on the storage system along with the read-only capabilities that is intended for the user with that role. If the list of capabilities is too large, we can split it into two roles and assign the user both the roles as we see in this case. We have identified the list of capabilities that are required and copied them to a notepad for ease. This list can be found in the mentioned KB. So firstly, we will add the role with the command user admin space role space add space read only one space hyphen a and we'll copy the list of capabilities Next, we'll add the uh, second role with the command user admin space role space add space read only two space hyphen a and copy this. the role read only two has also been added. To be noted is that you can exclude the capabilities that you think are not required for a role anytime using the uh, user admin role modify command. Now we shall verify if the roles has been added successfully. So we'll use the command user admin space role space list space read only one We'll also check for the other role, read only two. Yeah, so both the uh, roles have been added successfully with the uh, capabilities listed. Now we shall create a group and assign the roles, that is these roles, uh, to the group using the command user admin space group space add space read only group space hyphen c and we give a comment adding group for read only user and hyphen r space read only one comma read only two Okay, I missed out the space. So, we have a group created and uh, in this way, any members that we add to this group would automatically get these roles assigned to them. So, we shall verify the successful creation of this group using the command user admin space group space list space read only group so we have read only one and read only two listed here both the uh, uh, roles have been added to the group now we shall add the user to this group that's done using the command user admin space user add space read only user space hyphen 
g space read only group so read only user is the name of the user that we are adding to this group which is uh, read only group so we give the password so the user has been created successfully so we'll confirm the user with the command user admin user space list space read only user so we have the group read only group we have the user read only user and with these capabilities so now we shall log in to on command system manager using the credentials for this user and uh, we'll see how it goes so this is the filer that we created the user on so we are logging in we give read only user followed by the password yep we are able to log in so we can see the dashboard it is able to display all the dashboard details now we'll just try to create or do something do some activities on the volumes and the quotas etc let's see what we get so we go to volume we'll try to create a volume first create okay default then provision here we go so the user read only user does not have the capability to invoke api volume create yeah so that's what we intend to do so and we are able to achieve the same we hope this video was helpful thank you